Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The 5,000-year-old Kachno stone contains around 90 intricate spirals and intentions that according to some authors, represent an ancient cosmic map. Discovered in 1887, the mystery stone remained buried for decades in order to protect it from vandalism. One of the most fascinating archaeological mystery is the discovery of the so-called Kachno stone. Discovered in 1887 by the Reverend James Harvey, the ancient stone, measures 13 meters by 7.9, and features around 90 intricate carvings, considered as one of the finest sets of petroglyphs in Scotland. Take a look at these old buildings. This list could go on and on. It is obvious that these buildings are all over the world. Makes me wonder about the true origins of ancient Greece and Rome now. I believe, as recently as 150 to 200 years ago, there was a one-world union with no countries. It was a civilization whose technical development was similar to that of ours. I am not saying that it was good or bad. I merely state that in the 19th century, the entire world was fighting, well it would have to be building to get all the buildings and cities delivered. I do believe that current political systems of the world conquered and destroyed the previous one. In the process, billions of people were killed. These buildings we see all over the world are the remnants of that previous civilization. I am still working on this concept. I believe something catastrophic happened twice. Once in the 18th and once in the 19th century. I also believe that the timelines of world history, as well as the world history itself were intentionally altered. Meaning to the point where it is impossible to say what happened or when it happened. Who was the coordinator? The map carved on an ostrich egg. The thing about the egg is its age. Historians have dated it to the pre-dynastic period. That 6,000 years ago. The map is in the Nubian Museum of Aswan. Bold clear, the three pyramids are located on the west bank of the Upper Nile. The three most famous pyramids of Giza were already standing in their places 6,000 years ago. Although the pharaohs of the 4th dynasty, who by history, were active in building them, were still about 1,500 years away. The mysterious object in the hand of the god Vishvakarman. The strange object in the right hand of this deity is very similar to one of the objects of our modern world. This artifact resembles something like a construction theodolite. But the theodolite usually works in pair with a surveying ruler. And in the left hand, the deity really holds a long flat object, which really resembles such a ruler. The territory of India is simply dotted with a large number of grandiose temple complexes, the construction of which without accurate measuring instruments seems simply impossible. But such instruments have still not been discovered. So, maybe one has been found. In the hands of this ancient god. Note. God Vishvakarman is known in Hindu mythology as the divine master, architect, and creator of the universe. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. 
and don't forget to subscribe and also click the notification bell too so you won't miss any update and watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Scientists know for sure that millions of years ago there were rivers, lakes, flowering gardens, and most likely even the ocean in the Sahara Desert, as numerous fossils of whales have been found in the sands. It is believed that 6,000 years ago, trees were growing in the Sahara, and there were many lakes. But looking at medieval maps, it seems that scientists are somewhat wrong in their dating. From 1492 to 1527, the entire Sahara is riddled with rivers, lakes, and many cities and towns. Since the early 18th century, water bodies on the maps become significantly shallow, and the name Sahara Desert appears, another century later, the desert becomes the Great Desert, and takes its present form. For thousands of years the Sahara was habitable, and in just 100 years, part of the continent literally became extinct. Isn't that too drastic a change in climate in a single area? And what could have caused it? The remains of this ancient civilization are polished mountains with traces of machine work. Everywhere on the world, there are smooth mountains with completely flat surfaces. People have been visiting them for several hundred years and living nearby. But few people think about how mountains can be smoothly polished by volcanic lava or weathering, according to official versions of the formation. Take a look at this photo, which shows signs of the artificial origin of some of the mountains. The marks on these mountains indicate that they have been treated mechanically, and in some cases by fusion, or until the rock is still solidified after formation. The scale of the work is so great that it boggles the mind. Some people simply refuse to believe their eyes, and their brains and school knowledge blocks over perception. Nevertheless, you must make an effort not to notice the obvious artificiality of some artifacts in the presence of the overall picture. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.